Hello, my name is Terry White, and I'm the Worldwide Design Evangelist for Adobe Systems. And I thought I'd show you just a few things that will speed up your workflow, speed up your productivity in the brand new Adobe Creative Suite 5 Design Premium. Well, first of all, let's start off in Photoshop CS5, where I have the brand new Mini Bridge. That alone will help speed me up because I don't have to go to another application to grab my file. So I'll just go ahead and double click on this file. We'll go ahead and put Mini Bridge away. And then we'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. And of course, this is all 64-bit accelerated, and that will also speed up my productivity. Now, the next thing we'll do is we'll grab our healing brush. And what's new about the healing brush is it can now be made content aware. That means that it will do a better job of healing and retouching. And again, this is one of those things where if you're a retoucher, you do this kind of work all day long, every day. So let's go ahead and grab the uh, healing brush that's now content aware, and we will go ahead and heal this line, which normally the problem would be that it's intersecting with multiple uh, frames in that window and multiple shapes and things that wouldn't necessarily heal very well. But now when I just let go on that, areas that would normally cause a problem no longer cause a problem with the healing brush. So I'm more productive because I don't have to constantly keep using the tool over and over again to fine tune it. Now let's go ahead and switch over to Illustrator, where in Illustrator I'm going to use the brand new Shape Builder tool. And what this tool allows me to do is think of it as Pathfinder on a tool, where I've got multiple objects that make up these utensils, but if I want to change the color, I don't have to go ahead and select each object and then change the color or join them together with Pathfinder. I can actually just drag the tool through those objects to combine them as one and also apply my new fill. I can even do this if I select this object, which is more pieces, I can even do it by holding down the shift key and shift selecting them so that I get them all at the same time with the same fill. So you get the idea there. Now let's go ahead and move over to InDesign. And one of the things that's a constant issue with InDesign is having to draw multiple frames to kind of get the layout you want and link them together. Well, now I can just go ahead and, draw and select all of this text that really would look better if it were to span multiple columns. But again, I would normally have to three, create three frames to do that. So now I'll just go ahead and choose that I want this to span two columns instead of one column, and now it balances automatically. And again, this is going to save you time. Let's see another example of this. We'll jump over to page 12, where we've got kind of the same thing going on. We're going to go ahead and select this bulleted list, and what I want to do is have that bulleted list, I want to split it across two. So that will go ahead and split it so that it's in the same column of text, or the same frame, but split across two columns. Same thing here, we will select this text and we'll simply have it span the two columns, and it will again rebalance everything accordingly. These are just a few of the time savers that you're going to experience in the brand new Creative Suite 5 Design Premium. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching.